Dear Kelly in 2020, when I think of you back then, I see you the night you sat under the supermoon, looking up at the sky, and with throat dry and wet eyes, thinking about how you are only matter, just a tiny collection of cells on a small blue blob floating around a slightly larger yellow blob. The overwhelming grief and yet the relief you felt when you realised you were nothing more, no different than what came before, or what will come for millennia after you are gone. Kelly, I'm going to speak to you knowing the way you would speak to a friend. Okay, you haven't invented a cure or fought wars in trenches, but you've spoken words on stage and from Parliament's benches that have shaped a new way, and I know you would say, if you were your own friend, that that mattered. Kelly, I know you're not friends with yourself right now, so let me try. Here's what I've learned in 30 years that it took for you to become I. Love your freckles the way you love the dust on your bookshelf. Love that often overextended right leg of yours. I think it's trying to teach you, teach the rest of you to refuse to be held back. Cut your losses and for God's sake, cut your hair. There have been people in your life, Kelly, who don't understand you enough to help you learn to understand yourself. And I'm not necessarily saying you should let them go. Just let them go to parties while you stay home and don't worry about why it is you do that. Don't fear rooms full of people and don't be afraid to be by yourself because if you're being either of these things with your own permission, then you'll never be alone. Don't forgive people if it means you'll forgo your self-respect. Choosing to bear your soul to someone is not an automatic agreement to bear that person's cross. But, Kelly, if you don't manage to get it all sorted, if we're still paying hefty psychologist fees, mumbling into black pages, sitting in corners, crying and sweating and dancing and loving in the endless quest to fill our own shoes, then that's okay too. As one day, and I know you probably won't believe me, but if you take nothing else from this little letter, then please let it be this. One day, you will be sitting under that same moon, looking up at the same sky, but this time, you will know not only that you are matter, but that you do. Love, Kelly, 2050.